Hey, Reza, thanks so much for making some time. Um, you are a busy guy, you're, you're leading a rocket ship company. And, uh, and so thank you so much for making some time. Hey, Sumit, it's good to see you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's good to see you too. We, you know, we go back 10 years, so it's kind of surreal. Uh, we're what, tw 20 kilometers away from each other right now. Uh, it's it's incredible. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's awesome to be here. Looking forward to the conversation. It's going to be fun. Yeah, for sure. Um, so let's start with, uh, you know, just, just talk about your background, please. Just... I'll tell you that I started, uh, loving computers when I was, uh, I was 12 years old. I still remember when my father got me my Commodore 64 and uh, I just fell in love with it, right? Um, not, not just falling in love with, you know, the gaming aspect, which was everybody likes the gaming part of thing, but like just fiddling around with basic and starting to write code. Uh, I realized quickly that, you know, I, I love to just play around with computers. Uh, I'll tell you a quick funny story. Um, my uncle came to visit from Iran in Switzerland where I had my Commodore 64. And my uncle was this big guy uh, who everyone respected a lot. And he said, oh, you've got a computer. I'm like, yeah. He's got, he said, okay, can it answer my questions? I'm like, mm, maybe. <laughs> he said, so what's the population of Switzerland? And I couldn't explain to him that a Commodore 64 cannot just tell you, of course, what he was looking for is Google, right? But you know, Commodore 64 couldn't at the time tell you what the population of Switzerland is. So what I did was I wrote a quick basic program that said, what's your question? And then all it did, it just answered 6 million. So I knew what answer, or what question it was gonna ask. So I, it said, what's your question? And he typed, what's the population of Switzerland? And it said 6 million. And he was just the most impressed person I've seen. <laughs> That's amazing. So you have a very early history in computers as a kid. Um, and, uh, and it was funny, your uncle, uh, yeah, your uncle was looking for Siri and Google combined. Uh, That's uh, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was, he was uh, a forward looking person there. <laughs> and so then what did you, uh, what did you study in college and yeah, university? Yeah. Yeah. So from there, you know, some folks, it's hard for them to know what they want to study when they go to university. For me, it was again, pretty clear, right? Computer science was the path. So I did my computer science degree which I really enjoyed in UBC right here, right beside us. And, um, and then from there, I, I, something I would highly recommend to anybody is internship programs, what we call co-op here, right? I did my co-op program uh, and uh, got lucky and got into the National Research Council, which was in Ottawa. Uh, and when you're in Ottawa, you end up, well, at the time you ended up having to work for Bell Norton Research or Nortel at the time, uh, which became Nortel eventually. So I went from National Research Council to Nortel, uh, worked on their um, on their uh, management software, so, uh, you know, C plus plus stuff for uh, telco network management software. But as I was doing that, that's where I really got interested into middleware because we were using, um, I think it was called HP. Um, IDP or something, uh, which was the, 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 pre, the thing before Corba. Uh, and, uh, and then just the, the, the mechanics of distributed computing, which were at work right at that time as well. Uh, I realized I don't want to do telco equipment stuff. I want to do the software that does the distributed computing stuff, like what HP and, and I, I, Iona had built at the time. But so early, early days in middleware when it was be probably even before it was even called middleware at uh, Nortel, rest in peace. And by the way, U UBC is University of British Columbia, Canada's like probably top, one of the top computer science programs. So that's pretty cool. And then, uh, yeah. And then after Nortel, you moved to, you know, you, you moved to America and California. And so what happened after that? Where, where did you go after that? Yeah. So I, I managed to get myself into BEA systems, which I oh. think is the company that invented the term middleware, but I'm not certain on that. Um, so BEA was like everyone who liked middleware wanted to work at BEA. So I, I was very happy to get a job as a consultant and moved to California, long story short, uh, and was a staff engineer at, at BEA doing competitive stuff. Um, and that's where I really got interested into in product management and uh, managed to get into product management at BEA right before the Oracle acquisition. And that's where I, I got my first chance at being a product manager for the middleware space. 